going to pay for Pakistan? Who is going to pay for the lost islands of the Caribbean and Pacific? Who is going to pay for the destruction in Uganda? Who is going to pay for the communities who must flee the Bangladeshi coastline? Who is going to pay for the thousands of species that fall off of the science red list and into oblivion? How long shall the land mourn? How long shall our farms lay in ruins? How long shall the herbs of every field wither? How long shall the animals perish? How long shall people die? Are we to watch them die of thirst in the droughts or gasp for air in the floods? What is the state of the hearts of the world leaders who watch this happen and allow it to continue? Our leaders are lost and our planet is damaged. Loss and damage is happening right now. Loss and damage has been whispered about on the edges of past corps. It's time for leaders to put loss and damage at the center of the negotiations. And we need funding to help us deal with the damage that has already happened and the damage that we will not be able to avoid no matter how much mitigation and adaptation is put into place. It's time to acknowledge that there must be additional funding on top of what has been promised for mitigation and adaptation. And it's time for that funding to come in the form of grants and not loans because loans will only add debt on top of already existing debt. You cannot adapt to losing your home. You cannot adapt to losing your culture. You cannot adapt to drowning. You cannot adapt to losing your family members. We don't want to just exist in a hundred years from now. We want to thrive. We deserve to thrive. If you care for your orchard, you will enjoy its fruit. If you honor your home, you will be honored. Pakistan is and will be our story. Thank you. Thank you.